Well, thanks again for the warm welcome. We are the Batch team, and we were working on the Batch for the last couple of months. Um, and I'm really looking forward to handing them out or to you all. But uh, we will announce when and where you get them just at the end of the talk. So raise your hands if this is the first camp you've ever been. Oh, wow, that's quite a lot. Um, can I see hands for the people who were here four years ago and already got the radio? That's also a few. Um, so this was the batch um, in 2015. It was a SDR transceiver, which means um, you can send and receive data on almost all frequencies. And you can access this with um, a, a software called... Um, what's it? Um, they, uh, GNU, GNU Radio, I'm sorry. So GNU Radio is a software where you can access this and you can see a GNU Radio uh, script uh, just on the screens. And the GNU, GNU Radio um, script you can see here is pretty stupid at the first look because um, it just takes the data and puts it through a delay uh, and then saves all the data. But what you can see here is that we put the delay on a negative value. That means, actually, you're not delaying the data, but you're saving data that is not already received, so data from the future. So what we did here is um, save uh, messages that we got from the future. So we got messages from this year's camp already four years ago, and these messages contained information about the upcoming batch that you get this year. So our problem was nobody started building this batch that we heard of. And we were really panicking if we're going to get problems with the timeline for interfering with the timeline. So we decided we're going to do this batch that we all heard of from the future news. And so the batch that came out and that you're all going to get is the cardio that you can see here on the screen. And now you're going to get some information what you can do with it just right after you get it. So, first thing you will get is this beautiful paper bag. And <laughs> we provided a video that you can uh, watch to see how it's going to be assembled. Um, you will need a T6 screwdriver to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there are some floating around and you can come to some villages and I, I'm pretty sure, like we asked, and 100% of the people we asked had one, so... <laughs> <laughs> no bias there. Um, all statistics. So, <laughs> yeah, th this is the video. Um, and there's al already going to be some firmware flash there. One thing you can do with it, and you can see it on my cardio, and this cardio, and that cardio, uh, there's personal state LEDs. Uh, with these, you can uh, show other people what you're doing, if you want to. Like, you can turn it off, but then you're not going to say what you're about. But if you do not want to be contacted, you can put it to red. And uh, so that signals to other people that you don't want to be contacted. The blue one is chaos, that means adventure time. Communication, yellow, is, hey, talk to me. I want to learn something. I want to share. Camp, of course, is caring and maintenance and like eating and all the fun stuff that, yeah, you can do on camp. So um, it's quite easily customizable, the cardio, uh, even for people who can't or don't have so much experience in coding like myself. Um, thanks to MicroPython implementation um, and also without programming at all, like for example for the name app, um, you can just install it through the companion app or through the hatchery, which is at batch.team. You maybe know it from Shah already. 
um, then you just boot the cardio in USB mode, um, mount it as a storage device, um, put your nickname.txt or nickname.json on it, um, and then reboot, and then you can just start the name app and it will have your nickname on the display. Um, also, you can use a companion app to tell the cardio about the outside world more. For example, you can synchronize the uh, current time to your batch. So you have that state set. And yeah, as I said, t thanks to MicroPython, it's really easy to write your own apps. Like, this is like a very small app that just sets one LED. Um, and it helped me a lot that you can just connect over USB to an interactive my, uh, Python shell and just start to figure something out. Um, yeah, I forgot one point in regards to the companion app. Just remind that Bluetooth is uh, off by default, so remember to turn it off before you try to connect. So, um, some thoughts behind the whole process of developing is it obviously had to be open hardware, and what we mean by that is that we, that we all of us, own the hardware and the data with the, uh, from the watch or the cardio that we're using. So, for example, there's an ECG on there, there's a, mo a motion sensor in there, and whatever data that you provide, uh, create with that, you will own yourself and not upload to some sort of cloud service. So that is very important thought behind this. And then you can obviously tinker with it, change things, modify, uh, attach. Um, we have, I think it's about two kilos of conductive thread that you can use to attach LEDs and other things to your, um, sew on your wristband um, uh, and attach to the watch, these kind of things. Um, and it's very important to us that you can, you know, modify the, the hardware the, the way you want. You can repair it and we can just make everything the way we want it to be and not be dependent on any kind of, um, you know, commercial provider of things. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's the whole thought behind it. If you want to do anything with it, please feel free to do it. Um, uh, this is for you. So I'd like, you, uh, I'd like to walk you a bit through the sensors we put on the cardio. Um, first of all, we put a, um, an optical sensor on the very top board, which can uh, measure the, uh, your heart rate, um, possibly the heart rate variability, uh, as well as the uh, oxygen saturation of your blood. Uh, on the bottom board, we placed a, um, um, an ECG sensor, um, where you can uh, really measure your ECG of, of the heart. Um, we put there a, um, a whole bunch of movement sensors like um, accelerometers, gyros, uh, as well as a compass. Um, we uh, do also have a uh, environmental sensor which can do um, temperature, um, air pressure, um, as well as air uh, quality and humidity. Um, and also on the very top board is a uh, infrared uh, LED, which is uh, connected to a um, ADC input of the micro. Um, we can use that as a light sensor, so to, for instance, dim the LCD display and stuff. Um, most of the sensors, or all, let's say all, already some of those sensors are um, exposed to the MicroPython API. Um, not all of them. Uh, we are looking for help to, uh, to put the others uh, in Python modules as well. So you can uh, access them from the uh, MicroPython um, stuff. So if you um, want to help, if you are familiar with uh, doing uh, MicroPython uh, modules and stuff, uh, just come by our village and then uh, we can uh, need, need your help. 
Uh, as well, I'd like to, to mention um, that um, some parts uh, have been donated from the uh, companies over there. So most of the sensors and um, a couple of um, other stuff. So thanks a lot. In addition to open repositories giving you all the details about the firmware and the hardware, there are also uh, documentation tutorials um, which will help you getting started even if you've never typed a single line of code in your life. And please continue this work. Let's work all together. We had so many people already join in from when we first received our messages that there will have been a badge in the future. Um, all the way through camp here where people a few days started helping out writing the first apps and helping with testing the documentation, trying out where they will get stuck. If you learn something new, add it to the documentation, talk to your fellow cardio-carrying person and help each other out. Next. Um, there is a very easy way that's already been mentioned for sharing your apps with the rest of cardio-carrying creatures. Um, which is the hatchery, and in there also you can see the code from other apps. So you can have a look at how other people implemented their ideas. You just have to register an account and you can add your own app. And even without an account, you can have a look at existing apps. And again, documentation, comment your code, and other people will have a much easier time learning how you solve that weird problem. So, for example, in the hatchery, you can already find an app for painting weird fish in the air. <laughs> and part of this whole sharing hardware knowledge, um, there will be workshops at the Cardio Village where you can find updates about them in the wiki. You can find out more on, on Mastodon on Twitter where we'll try and keep updating you with uh, information. Uh, and if you have an idea for a workshop, if there is a cool app that you built and you want to explain something about it to other people, um, or if you end up having a workshop at your own village, let us know and we will try and inform all cardio carrying creatures. So, we still need your help. Um, the thing is, the firmware isn't fully, fully done, because there's always more to do. And we're especially looking for people who can uh, work with embedded C and know how to build MicroPython modules to help us make all the sensors available to everyone here. Um, because, of course, you can right now, you know, just use it as you know, within C, but we want everybody to actually access them. The other one is uh, that we need uh, people who can do smartphone app development for the companion apps. So if you're good at Android, native Android development or native iOS development, please also contact us and let us know because we also can use you know, more features and better, um, and better code. Um, and we have an issue tracker to, to do this and you can find the URL there. Um, so. Uh, you can either come come, at, come to us at the at the tent uh, or the, the camp, but uh, you can also um, use just check out the issue tracker and you know take an issue and work on it if you want, um, or join us in the official channels which we are going to announce in about I think the next slide. So the traveler's thoughts. Okay. Oops. Hello. So whilst we're very confident that uh, within the next day or so you will have held a cardio in your hand soon, there are still some messages that we received um, with some things that seem to have existed by the end of camp. And we're just going to read you out some of the messages that we decoded. Um, some of them we also already translated into ideas, what kind of apps and documentation will probably have existed. And you can look them up um, in the Logics Git repository. And 
either take this as a source of inspiration for your app, or if you receive some odd messages about apps and you need help with implementing them, you can also use this or Twitter and Mastodon to find people to help you implement the things that you heard will have existed. And so we've got some logs that we still need help with or that might give you some ideas for apps. The first one says, people seem to get an amazing sense of orientation through their cardio. Whenever someone is lost, they take a quick glance at their wrist and immediately know where to turn to. This locationing system might involve smartphones as well. The wrist-worn directions are really convenient. Creatures here have formed villages, and my cardio seems to pick up some signals at those assemblies. I wonder if it has to do with the flickering lights I noticed everywhere. Some cardios pick up the flickering, spread them further to other cardios. On other cardios, letters appear when they are near to a flickering source. When I meet a fascinating creature, my cardio can pick up their flicker to come back to them when we leave this place. And then there's a message we just got this morning, which says, it is such a shame this wonderful event has come to an end. But even at this time, there are still cardio surprises. Everyone is eager to increase some abstract scores, which in turn, which are increased through physical activity. Helping to lift items or picking up small pieces of plastic from the ground is a great way of scoring. As a result, I have never seen a more enthusiastic cleaning operation. Now I have to go as well, increase my cardio scores. We're afraid we haven't dealt with these messages yet, and uh, we hope that with your help, uh, we can have made this happen by the end of this event, uh, so the future will not get broken. Take that one. Well, you might think, wow, these 12 people on stage, they, they probably done a lot to get this uh, batch working, and I'm pretty sure they all did. But actually, you're wrong. It's not only these 12 uh, guys and girls that were working on the batch. Um, we're pretty sure now that the number exceeds 100 people that were working on this. So they, all the people working on, on the hardware, like packing the screws and stuff that we heard earlier, uh, like building the firmware, um, like um, handing out the prototypes to um, other hacker spaces, um, the people in, in companies that uh, um, helped us. So give, give all of them a, a big round of applause, please, for making this possible. So, if you're willing to help making uh, the stories from the future really um, work in so that we didn't interfere with timeline in the end, um, there are several ways to get in touch with us. We have a Twitter Mastodon account, and there is an IRC channel, there is a, a metrics channel, which is actually the same, so they are bridged. Um, we have the, the wiki, and we have the git where you can get everything. And the only thing is missing is the information where you can get the cardio, actually. And so we are going to give out about 50% of the cardios tonight, 6 o'clock at the Cardio Village. Right here on the camp that is north, um, pretty north of the camp, you will find it on the map, uh, the Cardio Village. And make sure you bring your... No, that's wrong. Make sure you bring your, um, uh, your piece of paper, the um, uh, voucher. Um, if you don't have a wide voucher, that means it didn't pay for this. 
uh, and you will not get it today. But we hope that we got enough of them working by the end of the camp that everyone here can take one home. So if you have a blue one, come back later. Well, and um, like, my watch is not working because I switched off my phone and now the time is not synchronized anymore. Um, but I'm pretty sure we got uh, plenty of time left for Q&A. Um, so if you have any questions now, we could get a lot of people here on stage that can answer them, uh, and we are willing to answer all of them. There are microphones. Don't just raise your so, hand, go to the microphone, please. I help a little bit with that. So everybody who has a question, please line up over here, where I'm jumping now, here. And there in the middle um, way is also somebody with a microphone. And I will call you up, OK? So please start. Hello. Uh, first of all, thank you for building such a great batch that is easily accessible. Uh, and my question is, uh, how does the App Store uh, bring the apps to the um, actual batch? How is the code uploaded to the hardware? That is a good question. I hand over the microphone to Lilo. So there are two methods of transferring apps to the Cardio. Uh, one is by using your Cardio as file storage and just copying over the Python scripts onto the Cardio. And we're working on a method of copying them automatically through the companion apps as well. Um, there is some uh, considerations you have to make on the folder structure for everything to work well. The simplest way of testing and copying an app over is calling it main.py and copying it in the main folder. And for everything else, uh, there, is, there will have been documentation in the Cardiologix wiki. Thanks a lot. So, so I my mic microphone too, please. So, how does uh, is Bluetooth accessible for the application? So, can we write applications that use Bluetooth to communicate to other cardios? Um, Bluetooth um, working already sometimes. Um, they break up um, after um, it's disconnect, so you have to restart your cardio at the moment. We are working on that. And um, you could, uh, at the moment, set all LEDs and read the sensor by Bluetooth. And um, maybe uh, it works already to push some Hitachi over Bluetooth on this. We are developing so that custom too. communication is not possible. Sorry? Custom communication, so building Between. a peer-to-peer -peer protocol or something won't work. Between the cardios? Yes. Uh, at the moment, no. That's uh, very uh, back in the issue tracker. So we have more. Oh, you want to work. Sorry. Yeah. Well, you can always help us make this happen sooner. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Microphone one, please. Oh, this question relates to shitty add-ons and batch bus. Uh, adapters. I don't believe there's any shitty add-on or badge bus connector on the current design. So if we wanted to add one, what would be a good strategy for that, Ole? Shitty add-on connector. Yeah. Shall I repeat the question? Yeah, uh, so um, there is a shitty add-on uh, footprint on the um, top board, so we can uh, solder the, um, the most recent one just if you want. Thank you. That's a great answer. I didn't know that. Thank you. Here I come. Microphone two, please. Hello. I'm curious about the mentioned air quality sensor. Can you tell more about it and like, what would it measure exactly? Uh, unfortunately, no. But we are targeting a workshop for that. All right. Thanks. I think it's on uh, Thursday. I'm not quite sure, but double check that. Thank you. If you want to ask questions, please queue up here. We need some more. We have time to cut. Microphone two, please. Yeah. 
first, thanks for your work. And I'd like to know which positioning systems are supported by the batch. So there's GPS and there's Galileo and the Chinese do something. Or was it too fast? Yeah, the audio on the stage is a bit poor. <laughs> okay. I ask which positioning systems are supported. No, we, we don't provide any of those. So no positioning system. Oh, so I got it wrong. Sorry. You can connect to devices that have positioning systems conveniently already on them. And also there are accelerometers and gyroscopes which can be used to aid positioning systems. For example, to find out how your badge is currently um, turned and aligned and how you're moving your wrist. Microphone one, please. Um, is the no. Comments to the no. no comments, please. No, um, please. Is there a way to write apps in C? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not as well documented. But you're writing apps in C. So, go on, please. And Rust as well. Next question, please. Um, what battery life can we expect from the batch? Yes. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, most of our cardio use has been attached to a computer programming it, which means our cardios have mostly been charging continuously. Some of us had their cardios running overnight, and they were still very happily running in the morning. Well, I could give you some first-hand experience because I was using it uh, already for a couple of days. And while you just use the time and stuff, uh, it works for a couple of days. Uh, if you want to use the uh, ECG on it uh, directly on the batch, uh, that drains battery like in 15 minutes or something. So you cannot use it for using uh, ECGs all the time. Next question, please. Uh, two questions. A direct follow-up to your no comments. Who would be the core developer at Bosch who could answer his questions? Uh, second, he is. Um, second. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's okay, answer second, that but second, yeah. second, Let's thing, answer that second question. Um, the um, second question is, um, I think the USB-C cable has some extra uh, connections for hooking up to uh, biology. Uh, is that documentation already on the wiki? If not, uh, when, will be there, when will there be a workshop how to uh, do USB-C cable surgery? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start with the second one. Um, the USB-C pinouts is well documented in the schematics. Uh, it's on GitLab. Um, you will receive the link on the flyer as well, I think, right? Uh, if, if there are any questions left, just come, come back. If you are looking for USB cables that you can use um, because you don't bring USB-C cables with you, it's, it's not included in the batch. Uh, I heard that the CCC Munich division brought some cables that are for sale. Just a couple of them. Thousands. <laughs> Okay, the, um, this, just referring to the first question, uh, we, will, uh, a, we will hold a, um, a sensor workshop on Thursday at, uh, I think it's at 1900, uh, where, you can, uh, where, where we will have an uh, expert from, um, from those sensors on site. So every question hopefully will be answered there. Next question, please. Um, when building Rust or C applications or Python applications with Rust or C parts, is it possible to share those via the App Store or is that currently not possible and will be possible in the future? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think, at least currently not. I'm, I don't think it's planned either, honestly, but I don't know. Well, what could happen, I imagine, is that if you would build a, uh, 
if you would build the apps in a way that they're accessible, like to the MicroPython API, for example, but they're C or Rust modules, then you could obviously uh, merge them into the firmware and uh, therefore make them accessible to everybody. That would be a good way to do it, I think. So are there some questions up? Uh, uh, one more comment to the question. Yes, um, so it's, it's, not, it's, it's difficult to, to allow delivery of binaries, of course, because if you are an elf binary, you can do basically anything. And we would love to avoid people having their cardios bricked. But we are uh, of the opinion, if you're able to build a C app for an embedded target, you will also be able to enable the execution of the ELF on the cardio, so there will be a configuration for that. So my last question, any last words of you? What do you want to share to the crowd as your last words? Okay, so we mentioned it once, we mentioned it twice. We need your help to make this badge really great for the camp. So go out, grab your badge tonight, and help us build the apps, build the firmware, and uh, make this a great camp. Thank you.